what is a inductor if we take a wire or conductor and twist it like a spiral manner it is called inductor there are many application of inductor in electronics and electrical sector but how does it work to know this, we have to understand some rules which exist everywhere in our environment. Where there is electricity, there must be magnetism and we can also say where there is magnetism, there must be electricity. One more rule to remember, a conductor is placed in a magnetic field. If the field tries to change, then a force is developed in the conductor. We call that a EMF electromotive force. This EMF tries the current to flow in the conductor. But how does it work? When a current is flowing through this coil, this coil opposes the change of the current. And this reaction is known as reactance, is denoted by XL. But how this can be done? How it opposes the change of current? We have already known that if we take a conductor and we pass current through the conductor, then a EMF will generate surrounding the conductor. Now if we turn the conductor into a coil, then if the current is flowing from this end and the current will flow through the coil, then as per the second rule, an electromagnetic force will be developed into a coil and it will link up to the next part of the coil. As there is generated a EMF so one side will be positive and another side will be negative as per the potential difference there will also try to flow a current and this will try to flow current in the opposite direction means the current was flowing from a direction and now the current will flow from opposite direction that has been developed. As two current can flow through the coil, so a resultant will flow through the coil. Whenever we try to flow current through the coil, at starting the current will not flow through the coil because the coil will react. As we understood, EMF is generated and a current is developed and opposes the flow of current. So firstly, the current in the coil is zero, then it achieves a value of I. This is called a reactance. Now if we connect a coil to a battery, then the current will flow from the positive end to the negative end. As the current starts flowing, the coil will react and opposes the current to flow through it. But after a certain period of time, when the magnetic field rises from zero and achieves a value, the magnetic field does not change. So, what happened then? As previously, two terminal, positive terminal and negative terminal is developed for the EMF, it will diminish slowly. We can see at the chart plot of current and time like 
if it is a simple resistive element the current increases linearly as this is a coil and the coil react so the current does not increase linearly this reaction is known as reactance it is denoted as xl which is equal to omega l omega is the frequency that current changes l is inductance which is a constant it depends upon the turn in the coil more turn in the coil the inductance increases and less turn in the coil the inductance decreases if the coil is rounded around a magnetic material then the value of L becomes more. So reactance depends upon the inductance and frequency.